After studying this module, you should be able to know about the metal cluster compounds, preparative methods for metal cluster compounds and the various types of reactions of metal cluster compounds. Let's study the metal-battle bond. Metal-metal bond is a bond between two metal centers, particularly between two transition metal atoms, which ranges from a single to quadruple bond. The existence of metal-metal bond is mainly because of the presence of n plus 1 s, n plus 1 p and n d orbitals as valence shell electronic configuration. The transition metals can form three general types of bonds such as covalent bond, dative bond and a weak metal-metal symmetry interaction where covalent bonds being the strongest and the symmetry interaction are the weakest. The compounds containing a large number of metal-metal bonds forming triangular and larger structure are called cluster compounds. However, these also include linear metal-metal bonds. The metal clusters can also be defined as any entity that contains a metal-metal bond. The journey started with the identification of the mercury-mercury in the mercurous ion which was the first d-block metal-metal bonded species. Most of these cluster compounds are homometallic, however there are few exceptions with heterometallic clusters complexes also. The molecular complexes containing metal-metal bonds that form triangular or larger structures are also called metal clusters. However, the linear metal-metal bonds also comes under the category of metal clusters. Therefore, any metal complex having a bond between two metal ions is called a metal cluster as you can see here. The general methods of preparation of metal cluster compounds. Initially, metal complex clusters were either obtained as side products in other reactions or by unplanned roots. Eventually, the efficient synthetic methodologies were developed to prepare a variety of cluster complexes containing various types of bonds. Later on, specific methods were also developed for the synthesis of heterometallic metal-metal bonds and to build up cluster complexes. Now, well-defined and highly efficient are available to synthesize a desirable metal-metal bond for specific application. Some of the methods are, for example, by paralysis of metal carbonyl complexes. This method is mainly applied to metal carbonyls where the lower carbonyl complexes are heated to expel few but not all carbon monoxide molecules. The unsaturated fragments thus formed can rearrange and react to form higher metal carbonyl complexes containing metal-metal bonds as is shown here in this reaction. The pentacarbonyl ruthenium when heated up to 50 degrees Celsius will give you didecacarbonyl triruthenium. In some cases, this reaction can also be done by photolysis of lower metal carbonyls. In this reaction, pentacarbonyl iron on photolysis will give you nonacarbonyl 2 iron by nucleophilic attack on a metal carbonyl. A metal carbon anion such as pentacarbonyl manganese 1 anion can show a nucleophilic substitution reaction with bromopentacarbonyl rhenium 1 which possesses a replaceable bromide. The reaction results in the formation of a manganese rhenium covalent bond as you can see in this reaction. The other is binuclear reductive elimination. Reductive elimination takes place at metal centers 
with higher oxidation states where the oxidation state of the metal ion undergoing reaction is reduced by 2 units in the product. The reductive elimination is the reverse of oxidative addition and decreases both the oxidation state and the coordination number by 2. You can see this in this reaction. By addition of a coordinatively saturated cluster to an unsaturated cluster via bridging group. In this method, hydride is used to link the coordinatively saturated species to the unsaturated cluster. It is shown here. By the addition of a metal carbon multiple bond to a metal complex. This method was developed on the basis of isolable analogy. The metal carbon double bond which is a metal carbine is isolable with the carbon carbon double bond and hence those metals are able to form alkene complexes can also be expected to form complexes with metal carbenes by the addition of metal to a metal metal multiple bond. This method was developed by Green and co-workers and was based on the isolobal analogy between the metal metal multiple bond and an alkene. Like the addition reactions shown by alkenes, metal metal multiple bond that is metal metal double bond can also display addition reaction with other, other metal precursors. You can see in this reaction. Next one is by using bridging ligand. Few chelating ligands such as common diphosphenes has the ability to either act as a chelating ligand to bind one metal ion or to act as bidentate ligand to coordinate with two metal ions. This is due to the geometric factors of the ligand uh, which allows different chelate ring sizes in two cases. A large number of other chelating ligands display the ability to behave both as chelating ligand and bidentate ligand. Main group elements have also been utilized for metal cluster formation or expansion reactions of the metal cluster compounds. Metal cluster display a large variety of chemical reactions and hence exhibit rich and unusual organometallic chemistry. It is however difficult to predict the outcome of the reactions and to rationalize a reaction pathway. Reaction on metal clusters containing multiple metal metal bonds often takes place at a multiple bond. The metal clusters containing metal metal single bonds display variety of reactions which are discussed. The reactions with electrophiles, the proton can be considered as the simplest electrophile because it is a zero electron species and the smallest in size. Therefore, it can undergo addition reaction with a variety of compounds with great ease. The binding of proton to a metal cluster is expected to take place without much change in the cluster geometry. It can be easily inferred that the anionic clusters are preferentially easier to protonate and these often result in hydride complexes where a hydride is bridging two or more metal ions. For example, the rhenium carbonyl trinuclear cluster can undergo sequential protonation to form a trihydride cluster where the parent structure of the trinuclear cluster remains largely unchanged and the rhenium ion are bridged by the three hydride bridges connecting two rhenium ions each. You can see this thing in this reaction. Bulkier electrophiles on the other hand are hesitant to act as bridging species and often display reactions at carbonyl ligands in a reaction a metal carbonyl cluster. 
For example, the reaction of decacarbonyl triruthenium with alkyl aluminium compound resulted in the conversion of decacarbonyl triruthenium from a normal carbonyl unbridged structure to a bridged structure. You can see this in this reaction. Reactions with nucleophiles. Addition of nucleophiles add two electrons to the metal cluster. Addition of the two electrons to the metal cluster must either rearrange or lose a two electron ligand on addition of a nucleophile. The unsaturated cluster with two higher bridging hydrogen with decacarbonyl triosmium does not lose a ligand and one of the metal hydrogen metal bridges open up and generates a vacant site. For example, carbonyl and triphenyl phosphine adds to a product with two bridging hydrogen and monodeca carbonyl triosmium where one of the two M metal hydrogen metal bridges open up and the hydride become terminal. The osmium double bond osmium turned into a osmium single bond osmium maintaining the applicability of the effective atomic number rule on the metal complex. There is always a possibility of cluster fragmentation into various substituents. For example, decacarbonyl triruthenium gives a variety of products such as nona carbonyl triruthenium with three ligands L3 with two ligands and with a monoligand as substitution products on reaction with triphenyl phosphine. Nucleophiles can also attack the coordinated ligands. A metal amide is formed on the reaction of amines with decacarbonyl triosmium. It can labelize the coordinated carbonyls in the metal complex by bridging. Oxidative addition. Oxidative addition is the reaction that adds two electrons to the cluster on reaction. In carbonyl clusters, the loss of one carbonyl is required to keep the cluster structure intact. Oxidative addition reactions takes place with different mechanism with different ligands. For example, the addition of chlorine to the decacarbonyl triosmium cluster does not require prior dissociation of any of the carbonyl. The chlorine oxidizes the cluster by taking two electrons from one of the metal metal bond which causes the breaking of cyclic metal metal ring leads to a linear cluster with only two metal metal bonds. You can see this in the reaction. Reactions with metal metal mul multiple bonds like carbon carbon multiple bonds metal metal multiple bonds are centers of reactions. However, metal metal bonds display variety of chemical and unexpected products as compared with carbon carbon multiple bonds. For example, hydrogen iodide can add to the molybdenum molybdenum multiple bond where both hydrogen and iodine are bridging metal atoms. Such type of a product formation with a carbon-carbon multiple bond is most unlikely. You can see this in the reaction. Large and heterometallic metal clusters can also be formed by similar reactions on metal-metal bonds with appropriate metal precursor complexes. For example, tetra triphenyl phosphine platinum can add to the molybdenum molybdenum triple bonds with the loss of two triphenyl phosphine units resulting in a three metal cluster. You can see in this reaction. Cluster compounds can also show catalytic activity with a variety of molecules. For example, one of the major objectives of the cluster carbonyl chemistry 
is to activate the carbon monoxide and to facilitate its addition to various alkane or alkene. Let's summarize what we have studied. That cluster compounds contain metal metal single or multiple bonds and form rings or linear chains. Apart from containing sigma and pi bonds, cluster complexes also display delta bonds. Cluster compounds are formed by almost all the metal atoms. Metal clusters consisting of transition metals are known in large numbers. These metal metal bonds containing complexes can be homonuclear that is consisting of one type of metal atoms and heteronuclear which consist of two or more types of metal atom. Cluster complexes can be synthesized by various methods such as pyrolysis of carbonyl clusters, nucleophilic attack on clusters, reductive elimination and attack of metal precursors on multiple bond containing clusters. Cluster compounds display a variety of reactions. The product of these reactions are sometimes unexpected. The types of reactions that cluster com complexes undergo are reactions with electrophiles and nucleophiles, oxidative react addition reactions and reactions on the metal-metal multiple bonds.